So I've been kind of addicted to this game lately, Greyhack, and <clears throat> I've noticed that there's um, there's not a lot of tutorials on it, so I've wanted to do some of the basic missions just to give people an idea of what it's like. Um, if, if you're here, it's probably because you're looking for information and haven't gotten either. So I want to start with some basics. I haven't really looked at any of this. Um, I have my home terminal session, and then I have a, a rented server um, that's basically the same thing. Um, and obviously, you don't want to do a bunch of hacking from your home device, um, so your IP doesn't get taken, so you do it from somewhere else. So worst case, you can always just reset that server and just start fresh, and if anyone screwed you up, you can just, it's all, it's all gone. So that's, that's the best way to do it. You don't want to lose your home device, because then you have to like redo everything and all your hardware upgrades and stuff so anyways this was a level zero and wants the login credentials so obviously when we first start always end map oh do i oh let's get in viper first so viper is basically what i use for just about everything um and this will shortcut a lot of stuff for you and you'll see what i'm talking about in a little bit anyway so Let's end map that. There's a lot of stuff open. Holy cow. <clears throat> the client wants login credentials for the user Lassonid Idem. Okay. So, let's, and he's on 192.168.1.2. Looks like SSH is open. So, that's where we want to hit is SSH, and it's actually connected to the same computer that we need credentials from. So, we're going to do ES which stands for exploit scan. If you type help, it, it'll, it'll show you literally everything. So, okay, so we're gonna exploit scan and we have to specify the public IP followed by the port, which we know is 22 for SSH. And then I could just press enter right now and it'll just scan anything on 22 for anything behind that firewall. Now we know the LAN IP of what we need. So we'll actually put that in as a second argument at the end. And this way, basically what this is gonna do is it's only gonna scan for 22 exploits on that 1.2 address. So if it won't do it on the kernel, it won't do it on, you know, um, 1.3 or 13 or 18. It's only gonna do it on that one device. So let's see what we got. This is gonna take a little while. Also, if you want this uh, Viper installation. All you have to do is an apt get uh, add repo www.viper.com. Right? It's already there. So you can do an apt get update and then an apt get upgrade. Now, if I had updates, it would pop up there. Um, but then that's basically it. Um, you can also go um, to a web browser, right? And you just go to downloads. You want all these. You want the Viper, you want Metasploit, you want HTOP, and you want VBT. All of these are basically dependencies for Viper to do what it needs to do to the best of its abilities. Okay, so these are all the exploits that it sees available on that device. Now. If you look, they all have a memory value um, and a name of the attack. And so what you would normally do in a regular shell would to be to exploit that library by pumping in that value and going to a website and searching all, we don't have to do any of that, right? So now I'll just type targets. Look at that. First one, we have root on a computer level. We have uh, guest shell or we have computer so we're gonna do two things here so we want to make sure we corrupt logs and we also need specifically last on it dim password so how do we want to start this well so the index here is each different exploit that's available and the object that it's going to grab. So let's say that I want to start with, let's just see if we can get the guy's password. So we'll do use one, right? So the one's right in here. Now also keep an eye on your, uh, on where you are. Cause right now I'm at root Viper. 
on a local machine. But as soon as I click this, boom. Now we are in as him at that machine at that 192.168.1.2 address that we need. So a very first easy one is cat etc password. Boom. That's it. We've we we've done it. So now we could we'll launch Viper locally, and I'll just do a crack, and I'll paste that hash, and after that we'll have it. Now, corrupt logs. Logs are corrupted. Now you're good. You're done, right? That's that was it. That was the entire mission. Um, now let's. I want to cover one other thing. Actually, you know what? No. I, this is the basics. I'll make another video specifically for jump files. So if you like this content, obviously let me know so I keep making them. I've been playing this game a lot lately, so I'll probably keep pumping out some of these videos just as I learn more because I don't know shit about this game and it's really hard to find information. So I'm going to start pumping some of it out as I learn about it and, you know, maybe some other people get something out of it. And there we go. There's the password. So now we can just go back to our mail, a reply, and we'll say, what was his name? Lassanidim. Okay, and then we'll just go Kello. Boom, customer satisfied, money into the bank, easy peasy. Yeah, these are level zero missions. I'll probably do some higher level ones. Just let me know. All right, thanks.